Should get yeah. some sort of notification. Delete. Delete. Might just be the group for some reason. Uh, I don't know. That's weird. Are they live? Oh, here we go. Hey, hey, everybody. Look, I'm live. I got the work. Hold on. Jimmy's going to share this into the group. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, let me know when you're in the room. I got two eyes watching. Something finally worked. I don't know what the heck that was all about. Hey, everybody. Let me know when you're in the room. Until then, go dance for you. Oh. All right. Hey, hey. what's up, man? Hey, Jay. Uh, having some weird technical issues. We had to go through two, three phones. Wow, I look like a dingus when I'm dancing. Ha, ha, ha. All right, so uh, thank you, Jay. Sorry for the delay, everybody. Um, <laughs> don't know what that was, but we had some weird glitch going on where uh, nothing would connect, just the text. Don't know what that's all about. So welcome to the Capcoms. I want to present some cool stuff we got coming up next week for y'all. I think you're going to like it. It's one of our, probably one of our favorite Promos. Carmen, how are you? That's right. Good morning, good afternoon, Swart Nation. Hope everyone's having a wonderful Wednesday. We are almost done with the week. And happy National Superhero Day for all you superhero fans. I am one of them. Let me know, uh, post in the comments, let me know some of your favorite superheroes, folks. It's National uh, Superhero Day. Let's show your superheroes some love. All right. So, there's a special date in May. It's not Cinco de Mayo. No, that's, that, that's a special day too. Lots of margaritas and tequila ingested. I think I'm gonna have a chimichanga that day. But, May the 4th is upon us. Da -da 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 that's my terrible John Williams, by the way. So, I wanna show you guys some of the exclusives we've got launching for you. Let me go ahead and take off my little tripod here so you guys can get a little better view. So let's start things off nice. This is Lady Death, Merciless Onslaught, Lady Vader Edition. This will go live on Tuesday, May 4th, 9 a.m., and I hope everyone has a wonderful May the 4th be with you. <laughs> Dude, Tim Drake's a great character. Great character. Um, for my favorite Robins, I got to say definitely Tim Drake. And I loved it when they had um, Spoiler very briefly as Robin. And then I also really – I like Damien. He's a little jerk, but, man, that, that, <laughs> that kid can brawl. Um, here we go. Our other presentation, bam! Yeah, Jimmy and I were teasing you guys a little bit last week. This is Hell Witch Hellborn Darth Hell Edition by Jose Versa. There, check this out, man. That is beautiful. Stunning. Look at that. May the 4th stuff. Let me bring this up a little bit more. Unfortunately, I got a light right above me, so it's probably going to give me a bad glare. I apologize for that. But I'm going to tilt these. They're mock-ups. There we go. Oh, look at that. Beautiful, guys. But wait, that's not all. Not only do we have these additions, there is, hey, save the day. All right, get up there. That ain't going to work. Bam! That's right. What would a May the 4th promo be without naughty additions to go along with it? <laughs> I think that Tim Drake should get the mantle, uh, especially ahead of... Uh, uh, Dick Grayson. Um, oh, hi, honey. How are you? <laughs> Thanks for taking care of that nice big nail spike thing we got. So this is Lady Death, Merciless Onslaught, Naughty Lady Vader Day. Uh, Vader Day. <laughs> Vader Edition. Woo! All right, here's the one thing I really like about this homage. One, we are uh, got Lady Death as Vader, which is perfect. Two, I love the Death Star right above her head. It, it's got, it, it looks like an homage to a Jack Skellington. I love that. And 
Of course, you got the badass lightsaber. Beautiful piece by uh, David Harrigan, guys. Everybody, this is really great. Really great. And, of course, we have to have, bam, for Hellwitch, the Risqué Darth Hell edition. Really, Jose Versa, beautiful work, man. Beautiful work. Props. Um, I really love the detailing of her to get her to look like uh, Darth Maul. You know, Darth Maul probably would have been... I don't know. I really liked the design of the character, but I was so let down. It was like, oh, great. We got another Boba Fett thing here. So, boom. Beautiful. Wow. These, these images are just stunning. And, you know, what would any event be without a lovely hollow foil to go with the promo? I love the hollow foil. I think of all four of these, uh, I think the hollow foil is my favorite. I just really love how... Uh, with the hollow voice, wow, it looks so nice on camera right now. Oh, I will never be able to reproduce this again. But wow, look at that. From my eye view, I don't see that nice, beautiful uh, shine, that ro uh, rainbow look on it at all with the naked eye. This is the camera catching that, and that is just beautiful. I love how uh, our hollow foils, you have the faintness of the background, just slightly faded in the back, and same with the hair. It just looks so dramatic, and then bam, there's the face and the costume that just stand out. So for all you folks who like prints, and I'm talking to you, Gary Compton, because I know uh, you don't watch these till they're rebroadcast, so Gary, here is some lovely new prints for your print collection. There is the Lady Vader Nice. So, so beautiful. And there is the Hell Witch or Darth, Darth Witch, Risque, uh, Darth Witch, Darth Hell. Oh my God, I cannot talk today. And it's Wednesday. That must mean I need some whiskey. I think so. Beautiful piece, guys. Look at these prints. These are 11 by 17. They will go live on Tuesday, May 4th. If that changes, we'll let you know. But it's got to be May 4th. It's May the 4th. Gosh darn it. And of course, and I made sure I did censorships this time. <laughs> I forget to do that. Um, there is the Naughty Lady Vader edition, 11 by 17 print. So, yes, Gary, I will uh, reach out to you so we can get an order uh, in for you because I know you have issues with computers and I do too. So it's my pleasure to definitely help you out. So I can't wait to tell Gary Compton about this for folks who don't know, Gary is probably one of the largest collectors of coffin comics, 11 by 17 prints. Uh, he collects those and trading cards. Wonderful man. Probably one of the sweetest people you will ever meet. Total sweetheart. Um, so when you hear me say Gary, that's usually because he's, uh, either calling me while I'm doing a live show uh, just ask questions. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, uh, Gary, uh, I definitely think you're going to be happy with the prints. Um, I will uh, let you know about them as always. So anyways, here we go. These uh, are our May the 4th exclusives. We will be launching it Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time or Mountain Standard Time. I don't know what that is specific. I think it's 9 a.m. And then East Coast, uh, that'll be about lunchtime, noon on uh, your planets. Oh, Jay Taylor, I also forgot to mention before today is my special La Muerta show day. Most of the items I have are La Muerta items. Of course, there's a mix of everything, but since La Muerta's um, Kickstarter starts soon, excuse me when I set this stuff down, do you feel like you're in the Blair Witch Project? Oh, where are they coming? Where are they going? Okay. Hi. All right. Let's go ahead and zoom in. No, zoom in, camera. Man, I'm having issues today with my camera. But when do I ever not have issues? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I have issues. Thank you. I'm glad you are all here to see that. And yeah, groovy, groovy, groovy. All right, so let's start things off. Jay, you and I know La Muerta is the best character we publish here at Coffin. Um, she's our fave. 
Uh, I love her. I can't wait for her action figure to come up. So, I thought it would be appropriate since her Kickstarter launches in two weeks. Gosh, I can't believe we're already here already. Um, let's get some Lamuerta stuff into the catacombs. So I got some really cool publisher files for y'all. And let's see no stuff. No, you're not going to see no stuff. Everyone, please ignore my wife. But first, let's start things off with some uh, metallic cards I was very, very lucky to uh, run across. So let's start things off with right here. This is uh, Lady Death, Michael Turner, metallic card. For, for those who don't know, we make metal cards. This is a card that is the size of a trading card, like your sports cards, or if you collect Star Wars cards or Pokemon cards. Standard size, it is made of metal. That is a metal card, just like our metal covers. So I have three of these I have found, and I am presenting them here to you at the catacombs. I apologize there is no links. Uh, it looks like when I didn't put up the links to do the live video, I was actually able to do the video. So some glitch. Uh, anybody who wants to share the links to folks to the catacombs, please be, uh, actually, Jimmy in the back. Can we load up the links for the catacombs, yo? See, that's great about having the director right next door, so we'll see if that happens. Um, <clears throat> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, boy. Uh, so, yes, I have, uh, we definitely found out, it looks like when I was trying to put the links on to do the show, <laughs> um, it was causing it to not want to go live. So... We went ahead, didn't add the link, so um, guys, just head over to CoffinComicsShop.com, click on Catacombs, and that's where you're going to find the selections of these beauties I'm finding you today. And I found another, this was sold out, and I have uh, two left. This is uh, Lady Death Censored Metal Card, and both copies are signed by Brian. Put in that cute little COA to go with it in the back. Booyah, booyah. Oh yeah, booyah. Metal car madness. All right, and I only have one of these. This is Revelations Naughty Gold. And this was also released for the Lady Death 23rd anniversary. This again is a metallic card. What's up Carmen, how are you? Thank you, Jimmy. You're the best. All right. watching Karate Kid and stuff, so sorry. Sorry. No, I'm not sorry. Karate Kid movies rock. Uh, anyways, next up. This is the last one I have. This is Naughty Scorpio Gold. This is the only one I have. It was a very pleasant surprise to be going through a box of cards, and I found some of these metal ones that we were out of on the store. So, bam. So happy I could find these. So, any of you uh, collectors of metal cards, these ones are the last ones that are non-vault items. But some of these ones I have uh, done on a previous vault sale, so I may not have any vault of these ones also. So you'll find out when I do another huge vault sale. All right, and I'm really happy to introduce, I got lots of stocks of these. These are gonna stay up on the store till we sell out. Are you ready, La Muerta fans? First time offer. This is La Muerta Ascension Metal Card. I found 26 of these. And they are on the store here at the catacombs. Check it out. Check it out. So I have 26 of these. These are going to stay up until they sell up. Which, um, wow. Uh, I just want to thank you all. You, you uh, everybody watching and, and partaking in the catacombs. Uh, last Wednesday show, I had two days of uh, stuff to present you, and everything sold out. Um, so, thank you guys. I'm glad you're really enjoying the uh, product I've been finding and some of the fun, cool, old school stuff, as well as the beautiful modern day gems here at Coffin Comics. So, I just want to personally thank you guys for um, really digging all the stuff I'm finding for you. And stay tuned. Uh, I believe it's going to be May 8th. 7th, 8th, the first, second week of May, I will have something really cool on the catacombs. Um, I only have three of them, 
two are beautiful and one's just like oh it's got a little it's got a little uh, too much love on it but they're awesome I geeked out when Brian brought them to me so I can't wait to show them to you guys uh, coming up all right let's get some where to love going on in this room let's start things off because I love her and I know you guys are loving her too Yo, yo, let's start off with La Muerta, Vengeance number one, Mama Z by Yo, Yo edition. Only 40 of these were published. This is a publisher file. I really love Yo, Yo's style. It is very unique. I, I just love her art style. Uh, First time I saw it was uh, at Fiend Fest. Uh, God, almost two years now. Um, and I just fell in love with her style. I thought it was a really unique look. Um, I really love how she does the lashes, and it's just beautiful, beautiful work. And it also has that really nice creepy factor to it. Next up, this is La Muerte Vengeance, Santa Muerte, Yo-Yo Edition. This is a publisher file. Only 40 copies were produced. I think this is one of my favorite ones she has done. Just. Very nicely done artwork. Beautiful coloring. I just love her style, and I'm really glad there's a whole bunch of people also embracing it because, man, her stuff is just amazing. Next up, my next publisher file for you, La Muerta Vengeance. This is a Sombra Yo-Yo edition. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, Carmen, I hope I have some of the ones you, you're looking for. You know, let me know. Send me your messages. Inquiries at coffincomics.com. Send me your wish list. I'll see what I can do for you. All right, here we go. Some more La Muerta goodness. Only 20 copies were made of this one. This is La Muerta Descent, number one. Sketch edition, Violet by Richard Ortiz. This is a publisher file. Only 20 copies were produced. There's our COA for y'all. Also, who else excited uh, when we're doing more action figures for the La Muerta action figure? I am. I wish I could have gotten that large 18 inch one they did a few years back. Beautiful figure. Uh, I'm bummed I missed out on that. Next up, La Muerta Descent. Sketch edition. This is the scrinch, uh, crimson cover, and only 25 were published. Publisher files. Publisher files. Get them now. I got your publisher files. I love to give you smiles. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Uh, next up, two book set. Two book set. No need to be upset. It's a two book set. David Harrigan. This is La Muerta, Retribution, Rockabilly, Mama Z. Naughty and nice. Boom. Ah, try to do this without hurting the books. There we go. Uh, yes, there is a naughty one. And the nice edition. This is a two-book set. There was only 45 of each of these made. And they are inside in one nice golden age bag there for you guys. Yeah. Two books of love right there. Not only that, artwork done by the very lovely, very talented David Harrigan. So it was nice seeing you. Thank you for coming out to uh, help us out with your promo there, David. All right, next up, Scratch and Dead, La Muerta, Ascension, Naughty Edition. Last one. Oh, let me tilt over here so you can see it a little better. Ah, look at that. Beautiful. Genevieve Brumall. Only 250. And to my knowledge, this is the very last copy we have. That's not a vault. All right, here we go. Got some fun things for you. La, 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 la. All right, here we go. Let's go with Lady Death, Extinction Express, Naughty Chaotica Edition. Pow. This is a BP copy. BP file. There is the BPCOA. Art by Dan the Man Jouza. Yes. I really love his style. 
And let's continue that with Lady Death, Extinction Express, Chaotica, Bikini Edition. This is also a BP copy. For those who are wondering, BP is Brian Polito's. These are come from Brian Polito's personal copies. They even have his initials printed on there instead of a serial number of the books. Um, you know, it's been a while. <clears throat> Let me get my reading out of the way for you. BP Editions, exclusive. Coffin Comics publishes small batch serial numbered edition for collectors. Editions range from 8 to 1,500 copies per edition. BP Editions, which range a number of 3 to 10 copies per edition, are personal copies of creator Brian Polito. This document hereby certifies the authenticity of this BP edition, except no imitations. Boom! So here we go, I got some BPs, a pair of BPs for you. Now sometimes things happen when they get shipped, and it sucks, but it means I get to pass on a great deal to you guys. I have here this is Lady Death, All Hollows, Evil, Naughty Witch, Virgin Art Edition, signed by David Harrigan and Brian Polito. I will toss in a little COA to go along with this with your purchase. I only have the one in Scratch and Dead. One copy, one copy. Uh-oh, time for some signature signatures covering up being... This is a Scratch and Dead, Hell Witch, Gallery, Risque Seductress. Put my fingers right there. Boom. Beautiful piece. Oh, look at my thumb. Covering up all that fun. Ha ha ha! See you guys? Gotta, gotta keep my eye out for that. Sometimes we get in trouble. Actually, let's put that one right here. And I don't want to go to Facebook jail because of something silly like a nipple. God forbid it'll be the end of the world! All right, next up, I made a combo pack. I was so happy I could find this. This is Lady Death, Unholy Ruin, Dodson Premium Foil, and I found it. I was happy. I knew we had this image. It also comes in with the Mega card. This is card number 10 in the series of Mega Chrome Series 1. Uh, I only found one. It is done by Terry Dodson, and I thought I'd pair it up with the book. So there's a nice little combo. I don't know how that looks. Let me step back and view the camera because it's like 30 seconds. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, yeah, step back there, Junior. Okay, I think this looks good. So, this is a combo set. You will get the comic and you will get the Chromium Mega Card. Uh, the Mega Cards were produced in 1995. Um, I'm very happy somebody seemed to buy out, buy out all of the copies I made. But I had to hold something back for some of these special books that I found. Like this. Lady Death. All oh, Hollows Evil. Graveyard Kiss Edition. It is a vault copy number five. And I have included the Mega Card. Mega Chromium Card included. All you Jim Ballant fans out there, here's your chance. You get the card in the comic. Not only that, is is a vault number five out of 199. So this is another combo set. Combo set, combo set. I like making combinations for you. Bam, yeah, all right, I'm on point today. Point, 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 all right. Let's see. Oh, on each side of the rack. I know, I have a nice rack. What do you think, Eric? Yeah, yeah, you agree? <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, these are 11 by 17 prints for our May the 4th promo, Eric. Yeah, May the 4th, Tuesday, May 4th, we will be launching these exclusives at 9 a.m. And there will be four prints all together. Who is messaging me while I'm live on the air? Please don't do that. Please don't do that. All right. There is a uh, Naughty and Nice Editions as well for you, Eric. And then Eric, uh, myself, and uh, Justice for Jeff uh, took care of your prints for you so we can get those out to you uh, quickly. So, yeah, hit the catacombs. John, thank you for sharing that link. 
Everybody, let's give a nice swarm to Sean. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, John, for uh, sharing the links along with Jimmy. Thanks, guys. Uh, if you notice there's no links this time, having issues having the links on while I'm doing live for some reason, it wouldn't let the video connect. So, anyways, um, thank you guys for sharing those links for everyone so they can jump in. So, so yeah, definitely. Miguel, what about this figure? Ooh, there you go. That's for you, Miguel. That's for you. <laughs> um, oh God, what did I say? I love the, uh, okay. Wow, I got all these people watching me. Jay, don't worry about it. I'll take care of you. I'll take care of you. Just give me some time. I just got to figure out what's going on. Uh, super sexy. I'm talking, oh, thank you. Thank you. I, I, I developed it myself with help of my dad genetics and my mom's gen genetics. Thank you, I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> All right, next up, these are my last two copies. Jason X, special numero uno. Last two copies for all you slasher fans. Last two, Jason X special. Uno mas. My last two copies. My last single copy of Jason X special. This is the wrap around cover. This is my last Friday the 13th Jason X book. So hopefully I can get my hands on some more. I really hope I can get my hands on some of those royal blue uh, foil uh, ones I had. Oh my God. And last up, this is a classic from uh, 1994. Simon Bisley's the cover artist. Also, very early work from the artist known as Ed McGinnis. And there is also a wonderful story in here, written by Brian Polito. So a nice little short story here. Um, what else do we have? Who's in here? Everett Hartso and look at this, early Ed McGinnis art, guys. We're all you fans of artists, and if you're an Ed McGinnis fan, these are my last two copies. Uh, Ed McGinnis is one of my favorite artists. I especially loved it when he was doing Superman Batman. I always wish he had never left the Superman books because, man, his style is just so unique. Um, so, yeah, definitely check it out. This is the last two copies. This book was published in 1994. So, even uh, probably before there was even caught. Yeah, Alien Evil, written by Brian Polito and illustrated by Leonardo uh, Jimenez. So, there is a Brian Polito short story in here. Short comic, one shot. But look, you also got some nice Chaos Comic Era artwork in there, guys. Bam. So these are my last two copies of Night Cry. If you, uh, for all you Brian Polito uh, collectors and completists, well, here's one I never even knew Brian had something in this until I was going through boxes, looking at all the credits, and it's like, oh, hey, there's something Brian wrote in there. So... There you go, another sample of early Brian Polito published comics. So that's everything I have for you today. Let me just double check a couple things before I let you all go. Again, I apologize for the weird glitch where I couldn't get uh, live on at 12. Um, tried two different times once I decided not to do any of the links. It worked, so glitchy, 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 who knows? Chaotica, yes. Um, Carmen, here is the bikini one. Oops. There's the bikini. And here is the Chaotica Naughty. And these are both BPs for you, Carmen. Yes, they both are white out eyes. I made a note of that in my notes when they were uploaded. It's like, hey, I noticed the image we have, they have pupils, but mine don't. So I don't know what that means. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, both of them have no pupils in the art, just so you know. Um, but yeah, let me see if there's any other questions there. Eric, it's good to see you here. Um, yes, Previn, uh, the link that John uh, put on there, click on the links, and that's where you can do the shopping. Uh, normally, I have links um, down below uh, on the thing or up to the side, but
but uh, for some reason, the links and everything work. Max, you have, don't call me. I don't know who you are. Uh, probably some spam thing. Let's see, make sure I didn't miss anything else. Uh, <laughs> okay. Watching. Oh, my daughter's watching too. Hi, honeys. Hope you're having a good day at work. Um, the hunt is out the fun. Okay. Looks like I got everyone covered. Great. Hey, hi, me, Lori. Hi. Jimmy, again, thank you for sharing those links. Well, everybody, that's everything I got for you today. Um, thank you for your patience. Um, and me trying to get things going live. Um, thank you again for uh, an amazing week. Um, and not only that, it's been really great message, you guys. Uh, sometimes people have been messaging me with questions um, through my personal uh, uh, Facebook messenger. And sometimes it doesn't send me the notifications if I'm not friends with someone, so I apologize if I got to you late. Um, but it looks like I, I replied back to you folks fairly quickly. So I hope I was able to answer your questions. So, see you guys soon. Maybe sooner than Monday. I don't know. You'll have to find out. I'm Julian the Hooligan. I'm sworn to you guys. Thank you very much for joining us today. I will see you guys very soon. <laughs> have a great day, guys. And if you don't catch me later, I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye. Everyone have a great day and have a better weekend. Asta. Woo! Why doesn't that stop? Stop it!